check it out and going out um, outfit of the day actually does not differ much from loungewear or oh, can't even say my pajamas uh, got my nice Stella and Dot Infinity scarf on. Got my quilt, my duvet coat, obviously off. See, that's fleece wear, isn't it? Leggings. Oh, I've got my boots on it. My lovely 50p, uh, what is this? Clarks from the car boot last year. Loving that. Uh, yeah, so it really doesn't differ much from when I'm around the house. I am a loungewear girl, to be honest, and when lounge weather came so big because of being locked up i'm like that's not a problem for me so yes gonna walk into Cambridgeshire. uh probably will nip into my favorite age while i'm there even though i went there the other day because they will have probably restocked and i'm not getting anywhere else at the moment because i'm not driving yet so going to meet a couple of friends for coffee and cake Whew. oh my god can't wait Hopefully you saw my friend's tulips then. They looked fantastic. Uh, oh, just as I thought it was quiet. Truffle. So, oh, it's so exciting. And it's so bizarre how we feel like if we go out and it's not to the park, we're going out out now. I mean, out out used to be proper night out. Evening drinks involved general debauchery. But now, Big pigeon. Now out out means I might go into a shop. I might drink coffee with a friend. Oh, yeah, I've left my front garden. I've left my back garden. It's not to go to the park. It's, it's to do real life things. Oh. <clears throat> and uh, oh, just going past the nursery. <laughs> I, I love I love little ones. I just feel like they're like little drunk people. They're so like drunk people. They're so friendly. They haven't got any inhibitions yet. That's what I really like. Ooh, getting out of breath already. Yeah, I'm having a right old wrestle with this blooming binder. Apparently, I mean, which makes sense because the ladies in whatever time they used to wear corsets used to get out of breath, didn't they? I think it adds to my out of breathness. Oh, it's quite quiet down here actually. Let's, oh, can we see the road? There's the road. Pippard Road. Oh, ow. Quick. Oh my god, it's a stunning day. And I'm really loving seeing everybody's charity shop hauls and the excitement. And I was watching Steve's, so. Oh, I can smell the lunch that's looking at the nursery. So excited. I haven't been to the charity shops in a sec. Can you imagine car boot? <laughs> I know some people have already been to a car boot in a wild jail. My local is still they're still waiting for the council to give them a day, and then the other bigger one that I can get to um, won't start till end of May if if the weather is okay because uh, it's on a field and they it has to you know they have to check the ground and everything, and that people aren't going to get stuck there. Um, <laughs> yeah, I was thinking about cutting my hair again yesterday. It's partly boredom, partly all this grey, so I was like, oh, maybe I should cut it and colour it. Oh, looking at cars. But then I thought, well, I've been spending ages, like, getting the colour out because it's so difficult to brush. Like, I'm not talking every day, I'm talking about when I shower it. Who <laughs> brushes the hair every day? That's <laughs> for losers. Right, oh, God, it's beautiful. I'll turn you around a sec. I was trying to get the blossom up there, but I think I'm failing. It's getting, getting busy, eh? Right, onwards. This is how sunny it is. I've got my glasses on. These grasses, they're like for runners and active people, but they're great because they're rubbery, they don't fall off, they're good ours. And these are called Phoenix, what are they called? Phoenix at Bloody Mary Bar, I think. I thought that seems appropriate for me. I bought Tom's um, in yellow and blue, Swedish colours, he's half Swedish. 
but also they are that little title on that arm the inside arm is a Swedish meatball hangover which is also appropriate for him so we like the good ass oh I not learn and I'll be in the I was gonna say the Acropolis I don't think I mean that the the center of near me passion look at the lovely jelly cats oh they're so cute a little bitsy dress. Yo. So I had a lovely coffee right here. Coffee. Well, actually, it's a bit creamy. Went to Veggie Boars. This one looks a bit creamy, so I'm going to go for Americana next time, I think. And try black coffee. So, um, yeah, lovely meet up my friends. They bought me lots of uh, Akaja. And just, oh, I also had plantain and scotch bonnet jam. Ooh, ooh. And I've just been to um, the age in the precinct. I'll show you what I've got when I've got home. Just got some place masks and skirt for me. It's only fine, aren't they? But it's so sparkly and lovely. Uh, I'm going to nip into my favourite age. Oh, I even got some bits in Oxfam, actually. I'll show you those when I'm going as well. I'll nip in. Oh, it smells lovely here. It might be this shop. It smells gorgeous. Um, yeah, I'm looking the other age and then sun goes back up the hill. Still busy, McWizzy. There we go. This has got the yellow and red trousers in the window. The only bit of uh, clothing that I picked up and it's for me and it's only Primani but it's oh, can you see that properly it's really sparkly it's 2 .99 and I I know it's only Primark but it's so sparkly I just thought oh I'm, I'm really swollen here because I've been very active so like I know that's not looking too fabulous but I'm swollen so um yeah i like that that's a good length on me as well oh my ass and everything but yeah i thought oh yeah i love that one no cake right i have retired to my bed because i'm swelling up like a pickle at the bottom and the rest of my little haul so actually i did end up going into actually i did end up going into all of the four cabersham chazers and in thames hospice i did ask the lady in there who has the most fantastic braids really long uh who helped me out once before when i uh wanted to look at the brooches in the cabinet at the till and i took loads of brooches and she said to me today and given that you know we're always in masks she did recognize she went oh so i said oh have you got any rings or earrings and she said oh you're the brooch lady i said yeah i'm the brooch lady <laughs> and once when i was in there before i asked to look at the brooches and it wasn't her it was two other ladies uh, well, girls really and they got the pot out and they said oh somebody came in here once and like that she cleared them out so there's hardly any in here and i was just thinking hmm that was me like I was like at some point they're going to find out that was me I am the brooch lady <laughs> I wonder if I buy some earrings and rings from them they'll start calling me the ring lady maybe they'll start calling me something else behind my back anyway uh so yeah I did end up going everywhere and in the age where I got the sparkly skirt with my friend I also picked up these gorgeous little rattan, rattan wicker Wicker. Yeah. What's the difference between rattan and wicker? Oh, something's just popped up and I can disappear. Uh, place mats, one ninety nine. I like those, and then I, I sort of had visions of putting them on our table, but it's probably daft. Probably, I don't know where they're destined for yet, but I like them, one ninety nine. And then I've got two little things of jewelry here. I noticed that 
um, in one of the ages. She's the bag she's actually put it in is a Lola Rose bag. Unfortunately, I didn't get the Lola Rose, but I also I even got something from Oxfam. Um, I had God, this grey is getting out of hand. Oh my fucking! What? Seriously, do you think since my operation I've gone greyer? Because I honestly think I have. Right. Oh, well, she knows. Yeah, there was one extra pair of earrings that my friend liked. And I was like, here you go. Uh, and she just gave me loads of packaging. I said, that's for the packaging. She was trying to give me money. And like, I've just told you that I've just picked them up in Oxfam. And like, you can't give your friends the odd bit of, you know, the odd bit of jewellery. And then, you know, what can you do? So I got, I really like this. This is from Oxfam. really like this wire. It was harder than wire. It's like a wire heart brooch. I like that. I think, um, yeah, so most, oh, I'm wearing one of the items. I think most of this should be <laughs> on Shell Story New Jewellery. Some of it, obviously, perks of the job might come to me or a friend. Uh, yeah, some really cool earrings. Really cool. Some really cool danglies. I love those with the little wicker bottoms. They, I mean, they'd look so fabulous with some platform espadrilles this summer with a wicker bag. Right, on trend, down there. And these, I just think, tassels are in actually as well, but these are lush. Oh, I think they're so gorgeous. I just, ooh. Oh no, I'm just not, I'm not big enough to wear earrings like this. I think I could have worn them when I was pregnant, when I was a bit bigger. I need like the petite version of this, otherwise I just look daft. But yes, love those. But yeah, from Oxfam. So, you know, you always can find the odd bits and bobs. I went in looking to see uh, like clothing for me. Well, just for a mooch around, to be honest. Let's face it, I'll just look at everything. Uh, oh yeah, so <laughs> one thing that appears to be on my middle finger right now. Trouble is, it's alright when I'm swollen up. This keeps flinging off, even though I love it. The silver ring. Actually, this one's quite plumped on there because it gives me a mark when I take it on the little plump finger. Uh, but anyway, sorry, back to the, yeah, pick this ring up, which is stamped 925. And I like the little zigzaggy thingy. Uh, well, I've got loads in my little Lola Rose pot. So let's tip it all out. Let's tip it all out. Um, this, I didn't even know what it was. Oh. Yeah, all right, hopefully that's done that. I was running out of storage. I just got, honestly, I can't believe how much I've aged. So yeah, back to, so it's got crosses on it. And it's got a, is that a maple leaf? Oh, it's a shield. I don't know what that is, but it on the back it's just stamped genuine croissant. Eh? Um, yeah, just, I just pick up anything of interest. Another pair of earringos here. I like, I've got a ring that would look nice with these actually. They're a bit sort of hammered metal, a bit, look a bit arts and crafty to me. Where's the other bit? A bit sort of brassy. Um, yeah, I like those. They will go on nicely on my page. I've got a Siam silver brooch little fan. Very nice, thank you. Uh, oh, I've got some. This is really heavy. Oh, I wonder if it's a medal. It might be a medal. These ice skates. Really, he it's a really. Cause I thought, oh, it's a brooch, but it's very heavy. It's not. It doesn't say anything on the back. But yeah, I like that. Oh, picked. So I picked that up. So it's going to drop it. Uh, also, I don't know what this is, but it's in. I thought it was going to be like something you put on a like a medal. Or, you know, like a, a an emblem thing. What do I mean that you would put on a hat? An army type thing. And then when I picked it up, it's like, oh, it's a little like angel face with angel wings. I don't know if it's... Oh, well, there's something stamped on the back, actually. Uh, oh. Oh. Oh, well, and then lots of numbers. Is that just like a... Don't know that's the back actually it looks quite old to be honest look at that 
um, fastener. Um, so I don't know. Don't know about that, but if I could find any if I googled, I think it's very pretty. I like angel things, little cherub, little fat cherubs. I've got some questionable, really lovely filigree, vintage filigree panel bracelet. And I mean, it really looks like silver, but it's not stamped silver. And I probably just, I can't be. If it's not stamped silver, I'm not selling it as silver for like the Shellstrony jewellery, jewelrynas. Um, if they want to test it and then show the test to eBay or Etsy it, then they can do that. But oh, I'm so lazy with silver, so but I, I think it probably is. But it's lovely. It's lovely. So pick that up. Um, two pairs of earrings that I think look like silver, but not stamped. So just sell them as just lovely earrings. Ooh. There we go. I like the like the thick like bezel set on those. Little dingly dangles. And oh, where's the other one of that gone? Oh there you are. Yeah, again, looks ever so light silver, but not stamped. I mean sometimes you do get silver and it's not stamped. Could well be. They're lovely. I love the just don't think they don't suit me. They don't, I'm not feminine enough to wear stuff like that. That's what I've decided. And then I picked this up just thinking that looks quite like turquoise, but not thinking it would be silver, but actually it is stamped. It is stamped 925 inside. I know that's not always uh, genuinely stamped. But, but I do think there's a little plop of turquoise in there as well, so... Yeah, oh, oh this is my thumb. What is the thing of it? Is it a snake? I can't work out if that's a snake or if it's just like a flower thing. A bit of sort of snakishness going on there. Anyway, that's quite nice. And last but not least, I just picked this up thinking, oh, that's quite sparkly. I picked that one up, I like that, and actually, it is sparkly. It's very sparkly. In fact, it's crystals sparkly. It's Swarovski crystal. So I thought, oh, there is something inside here, and... Oh, L is the, the width of the band, and there's a little, a little swan in there. A little Swarovski swan. I would have thought that was silver if that's a Shorovsky swan. Wouldn't they, would they not use silver? They're wrong and haven't stamped it if they have. Maybe they don't. Surely they would. It seemed bizarre. Anyway, yeah, I think this one might be save it up for Christmas and Put it on the Bay of Fees because these big domed crystal Swarovski rings seem to be about 30 odd quid. So it's a nice little find. Yeah, I wonder if I do like that. That uh, six, everything's. I don't know what to do about rings. So I, half the time I'm swollen up and they fit great, and then. Let's see how it goes, let's see how it goes. I think that's it. Uh, oh, so nice to wander out into the real world. So nice. Met a couple of friends. Went to Veggie Wars. Oh, that was a nice lunch. A little snack lunch. A few trousers. My friend got a couple of bits too. Oh, bit of normality, eh? Oh, I'm dying to go to a car boot as well. Was even offered to drive me to one but it's not my locals not going yet and even my local next local is not going yet either and the only one is Bracknell and I don't know it and I feel like mm, I don't know I don't know it I don't know the setup mm. which is probably a bit pathetic but maybe we can go somewhere else chasers shopping I'm really enjoying getting in my little nozzle around the chasers at the moment 
And to, to be honest, I don't care if I'm picking stuff up for me or for the business, really. It's just nice to be buying stuff in the real world. Right, that'll do, I think. I am going to probably, as I'm just well past my nana nap, to be honest. I'm just take on my vitamins. And uh, have a little nana nap, I think. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that little mini vlog. Oh, and I hope, oh, are you getting out and about? Oh, I, to be honest, I know you're getting out and about because I'm seeing people's little holes and people's little, I've been out, I've been out, out. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ah. It's just a really weird encouragement that they've decided in the last two days since Monday to put barriers and cordon off all of the benches in the precinct which is mental because we're allowed to sit on benches anyway and they've put it's because of corona like you're allowed to sit on benches like why have you cordoned them all off now we're officially allowed out and so everybody's you know sat outside costas and outside veggie wars having a coffee but can't now use the benches oh, bar cancer you are idiot i hope you enjoyed that give me a thumbs up if you did um oh please let me know what i should do with this should I just, is it time to just buzz it off or should i cut it and dye it uh if i don't die see you soon <laughs>